The world of marketing, specifically digital marketing, has become such a huge industry that sometimes basic marketing concepts become so overly complicated that a lot of small businesses don't even bother with them anymore. And that's a shame because understanding sales funnels and being able to apply them to your business makes such a huge impact on your bottom line. And for small businesses who are just starting out, guess what? Every sale counts. Hey, this is Laura Gachega, founder and CEO of Viral Growth Media, and we help small businesses and solopreneurs hyper accelerate their growth by strengthening their core business and creating the right messaging so that they have a solid foundation that would allow them to scale and grow. We post a lot of videos with practical advice on scaling your business, improving your marketing efforts, and tips on day to day business operations. So make sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss out and if you see or hear something you like just hit that like button and leave a comment it'll help us reach more people and impact more lives now back to sales funnels when you say sales funnels these days there are so many things that could pop into your head there are landing pages and lead magnets and email sequences and trip wires and click funnels and so much more and all those things could be part of your sales funnel but they're not what a sales funnel is. Now, before you try to create any sales funnel, it's really important to understand what the concept behind it actually is. So imagine a funnel or an inverted pyramid, if you prefer. <laughs> At the topmost part is the widest volume and as you move down the funnel the volume becomes narrower until you get to the bottom this is the natural trajectory of your audience you know not everyone who becomes aware of your product is going to be inclined to learn more and eventually buy and you have to accept that because otherwise you'll end up focusing on audience who really aren't your ideal client and lose sight of the leads who are moving down your funnel and could actually bring you lifelong business back to your funnel you know this represents the journey that your customers go through from complete strangers to certified clients there are four major stages in the sales funnel the first one is awareness this is the point where they become first aware of your brand and this could be through your ads social media direct mailers emails referrals and word of mouth there are going to be people who just really don't have a need for what you're offering but there are audiences who require a little convincing so it's really important that you pay attention to what you're putting out there and get the messaging right so your ideal client pays attention and then they move towards the next stage stage two interest however they become aware of your brand guess what it worked now they're going to try to learn more about your business and you have to be ready for that if the information is unclear lacking or not readily available they're going to try to move on to the next business that can give them the information they're looking for stage three the decision at this point they like what they saw and they've decided to start engaging with you they could sign up for your newsletter or follow you on social media or even book a call or send an email you know this is part where your sales pages webinars and really take center stage as you actively try to move them down the last stage of the funnel and that stage is action at this point your customer takes that final step and makes a purchase but this isn't the end of the journey you could actually generate more income from leads at this stage compared to all the other stages combined Customers who've already bought from you are already fully engaged in your business. They believe in your product or service. They have trusted you with their money and they are more likely to buy again. And guess what? Buy more. Having a better understanding of your sales funnel and understanding the buyer's journey or customer journey lets you plan out more efficient and effective marketing strategies. It also gives you an idea of where the cracks are in your marketing efforts. You know, maybe you're getting a lot of eyeballs with your ads, but for some reason, they're not getting past the interest stage. And at that point, you want to review what you have on your website, what you're posting on social media, all that kind of stuff. 
stuff. There are a lot more factors going into a sales funnel and setting one up for your business, but understanding the basic concept of it is already a great start. Now you're ready to move forward. If you need a little help, you can actually book a complimentary call with us. I'll put a link in the description below or just head over to our website at viralgrowthmedia.com and just book a call. So make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, leave us a comment on your biggest takeaway from this video and I'll see you guys in the next video.